2019, question number 9, we are told in a mathematics test, the scores obtained by students were recorded as shown in the, figure, in the table below. We have the score, row, starting from 59, 61 up to 75. We have number of students. We have two in uh, column of 59, three column of 61, and uh, 75. The score K with a frequency of 6 is not given. So we have K there. Given that the summation of FD over summation of F is equal to minus 1.2, where D is equal to X minus 69, and using an, an assumed mean of 69, determine the score K. Uh, so this is, uh, we have covered, you have covered this, uh, that is uh, assumed mean. Uh, so we need to add two columns so that we are able to take care of the summation of the column for D and the summation of uh, FD. So let's add those two columns and see how we work it out. So these are the columns that I have added. And uh, this is a column of uh, D is equals to uh, X minus 69, where 69 is assumed mean. And here we get uh, now FD, that is a product of F, that is a frequency, uh, multiplied by the D. So we fill up the, 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 the rows. So this is 59 minus uh, 69 is minus 10. 61 minus, uh, 50, 50, 61 minus 69, that is minus 8. The other one is minus 4. Then we have this because we don't have uh, the value there we say k minus 69 then we have 71 minus 69 that will give you 2 uh, 72 minus 69 that will give you 3 73 minus 69 that will give 4 and we have uh, finally 75 minus 69 that will give you 6 now we multiply uh, F, this is uh, F is this one, F multiplied by the deviation, and this will give us 2 min times minus 10 is minus 20, this is minus 24, uh, this is minus 20. Now this will be 6K minus, when you multiply that, uh, 60, 60, that is uh, 69 multiplied by 6, that will give you 414. Uh, then 7 times 2, you get 14, here you get 12, here you get 8, and here you get 6. Uh, when you add up uh, the, 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 the frequency, you get, uh, this is a summation of F is equal to 30, that is you add all these values, you get it, it, the sum is 30. Then uh, you need to add FD. So you add all these values, and since we have 1 and k, when you add 20 plus 24 minus 24 plus minus that, you get it is equals to uh, 6, you get it is 6k minus uh, 4, that the 8. Now that we have, uh, uh, we are given this uh, form formula here, then it means that uh, 6k minus 4, that the 8, that is the summation of FD divided by summation of F is 30. It should give you minus 1.2. Uh, apply both sides by 30. You get 6K is equals to uh, 6K minus 4 that 8 is equals to uh, minus 36. Take 4 that 38 to the other side. You get 6K is equals to 402. Uh, uh, implying k is equals to 402 divided by 6 that should give you 67 so that is a that is a value of k uh, that is a value of k uh, so you get yourself uh, 4 marks so that's how you work out that this is in statistics uh, specifically where we were using the assumed mean uh, but this is uh, just a simple one you just uh, need to know where do we uh, use uh, how do we make use of the assumed mean so then continue watching 
The alternative method is uh, we can say uh, the mean which is x bar is equals to a which is the assumed mean plus uh, the summation of summation of uh, of f and then we say x minus a all this is divided by uh, n that is like getting the mean of um, of the of, of getting the mean of the fd uh, which we are given the assumed mean is 69 and we add this is given this is the same as minus 1.2 and when you work out that you get 67.8 uh, we also know that uh, uh, we also know that uh, the mean uh, can is also calculated as 1632 uh, then plus 6k all this is divided by the frequency which is 30 and that will give you uh, 67.8 implying that uh, K is equals to 67. So that's a, a, the other way you can also get the value of uh, K in this question. So this is an alternative method. I hope you have followed that.